Hey, how you doing today? Thanks for stopping by to see what Keith says. I'm coming to you today different, in a different position, a different place. I'm coming to you from our little in-house studio. Um, it just, uh, wind was blowing outside a while ago, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to do it inside. Georgie's going to be taping later today, and so we're already set up. So here I am in the studio. Uh, you know, that's the one thing that is so awesome about God. He gives us what we need in the time of need, whether it's a big thing or a little thing because of his ever loving favor. Remember in, uh, uh, oh, I think it's in Genesis, I can't remember what chapter, 20 something I think it is, where uh, uh, Jacob was laying down on the uh, rock in that night and he had the dream and, and the vision and everything and the angels came and went and, and uh, then he wrestled with the Lord and, and when he was done, when it was all over with, he said, blessed am I, blessed am I. And uh, I heard one translation of that was, there's favor on my life. And that's an important thing that we need to understand, that as we follow the Lord, as we have that relationship, time and time again, you'll hear me talking about, make the first thing in the morning, the first thing you do, say hello to the Father. Make a relationship grow. Let that relationship be developed by starting first thing in the morning. And you can do it. It can be a great thing because He wants to give His favor. There's many scriptures that talk about the blessing of God and many of those are considered and translated as the favor of God. You know, we think sometimes of favor as big things. In other words, uh, you know, there's multiple of you on the job and there's a promotion coming up and somebody else gets it and you think, well, boy, they must have done them a favor. You know, or or they really found favor. Or if you get it, you don't realize that that's the favor of God on your life for it. Remember, the big things are always massive. We call them miracles. We call them uh, just, it's awesome. Great blessings of God. But it's not just big things like Esther. When she went before her husband, the king, without his summoning her, he, she went ahead and made her presence known to him. And he had favor on her and allowed her to come into his presence. And she had great favor because when she asked him to come and uh, come to her, to her abode and she was going to feed him a, a feast and he came and he brought uh, Haman with him and then the next night she said I want you or she said I want you to come again the next night there was so much favor on her life that anything she wanted he did for her and that's the way the father is he wants us to have the favor but now here's the kick here's the kicker for today I want you to understand it's not just big things you can walk in the favor of God in the small things there's little things that happen in your life you don't understand. You don't realize that's the favor of God. You know, most of you that know me know that I'm a coffee drinker. I love my coffee. And I had a coffee cup I had for years. A dear friend in Phoenix gave me a set of these coffee cups. And it was not a, a big, wide mug coffee cup. It was a narrow coffee. And it was only about, oh, I don't know, say that high. And um, it was a Starbucks cup. It was a whole set. And I loved that cup. My coffee would stay hot on my desk longer than those big cups with the big open mug. I was pleased. I found favor in that woman's life when she gave me those cups. But just the other day, I uh, was finished with my coffee. I went into the kitchen to put it in the sink. And when I set it on the counter and turned to do something, my little finger caught the corner of the handle and flipped that baby right out into the floor. And wouldn't you know, it didn't land on the cushion. It landed on the hard floor and went into multiple pieces. I could not glue it back together. It was a mess. I was sad. My heart was broken. My coffee cup was gone. What am I going to do? I moaned and groaned for a while. And then I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, go find another one. Well, I've got lots of coffee cups in, our, in my storage unit. I have boxes of coffee cups I've saved over the years. But I wanted that cup. I wanted that cup. Well, I went online. Starbucks doesn't carry that cup anymore. I couldn't even find it in the antiquities. I was sad. But I said, okay, well, I don't have to have that cup, but I'd sure like to find one like it. Well, in the meantime, I realized that one of the things I had enjoyed was that cup fit perfect on this little coaster I had. But I was never happy with the coaster because it was just a little, it was made out of glass. And it wouldn't help keep it warm. It just kind of 
uh, received the ambient temperature and went on from there. So I began to think, I need to find a coaster too. And I began to think about that. And I began to meditate on that. Well, just the other day, uh, Georgie had an appointment at the dentist, I think it was. And I dropped her off. And when I went there, I pulled out in the parking lot and I thought, I'm just going to meditate on the Lord, read some scripture with my tablet. I've got it with me. And I was sitting there for a few minutes and I felt in my spirit uh, the unction to look where I was. And so I looked up and I, did, I, I was in a shopping mall. I knew that. It was a strip shopping with, you know, a Target and a, a Ross's and a Kohl's and, and some other things there. And the thought came to me, and I know now it was the Spirit of the Lord, go to Ross's and look in all the fun stuff they've got. There might be a coaster there. Huh. Okay. So I'm thinking, and you know, I walk every day in the favor of the Lord. I know I do. I've received that years ago. My granddad was telling me this about favor, and I got a hold of it. So I walk every day in favor, and I say, Lord, favor me. Guide my directions. Guide me step by step. By step. And so I went into Ross's, and I began to look at all the stuff, and there were some coasters there, but they were, you know, like $12 for three coasters or four coasters, and, and I, w I didn't even like them. And while I was there, I suddenly realized, hey, they got lots of coffee cups. Okay, so I began to look, and I looked and looked and looked, and I was sad. There was nothing I wanted. They were all the big ones. But I was just about ready to give up, and I heard the Spirit of the Lord. I'm telling you, it wasn't a loud, audible voice. It was that sweet, still, small voice in my spirit that said, Don't give up. Look around the corner. Hmm. So I went up to the end of the aisle, looked around the corner, and there was a display rack of just odds and ends, just all kinds of weird stuff. Clearance. And I'm looking and I'm okay, there's nothing here I want. And he said, keep looking. I mean, I'm hearing this in my spirit. So I'm looking and I look and look. <gasps> and there on the second shelf in the bottom, all the way in the back, was a one of those Christmas gift packages, you know, that's wrapped in the clear plastic thing and you can see what it is. And it was a tray about that big. And it had a coaster in it with cork on it. Oh, I like cork on my coasters. And a coffee cup just the right size. I felt like the, the Goldilocks. The porridge was just right. I'm telling you, it was the coffee cup size I wanted. I felt the favor of the Lord had flown all over me. Not only did I find a coffee cup that I liked, but a coaster, and there was a little tray there that I could set on the side of my counter, uh, on the side of my, uh, my end stand by my chair to gather up my napkin or whatever I happened to have at that point. And the price was $18. I'm not paying $18 for that. $4.95. $4.95 for exactly what I wanted. Is that not the favor of God? Now, if I'd have walked out and went, whoa, that was coincidence. Boy, that was good luck. No, it was the favor of God. And I receive it. And I walk daily in the favor of God. Whether it's finding a parking spot up close to the front when it's too hot to walk in Phoenix, you know, uh, or, or it's raining here in the Nashville area and we want to get close. And, and, and it's the favor of God that directs us where to go, whether it's it's finding that that special uh, uh, dress lady that you ladies that you're looking for in the store, and there happens to be one here, one there. Don't hesitate. Ask the Lord. Direct me, Holy Spirit. Guide my steps. Give me your favor today. It can be getting in a line, somebody saying, "Come on, get up here with us." Who knows? There's all kinds of things that are small, but it could be on your job. It could be a blessing on your job. It could be. Uh, family members that you haven't talked to in a long time, suddenly you find favor with them. I challenge you today, as I shut it off for today, I challenge you, this is what Keith says, seek the favor of God. He will give it to you because he wants to bless his children. He wants to bless his children. What is it we say at Christmas to our kids or around birthday times? What would you like? What would you like? I think the Father says that every day and we just don't hear it. Remember, the favor of God is yours if you'll receive it. Love Him, honor Him, and thank Him for that favor. That's all Keith has to say today. Thanks for coming by. Love you so much. Don't forget to go to the website. Check out 
all the different articles. There's some wonderful articles there about uh, what God says about America in the prophetic section. And there's some other articles there talking about uh, uh, just, oh, man, there's so much. I found some great ones. I'm posting some more today or tomorrow. I'll get some more posted. They're just wonderful, encouraging words for us because the favor of God is on his children when they love him and obey him and follow him. That's all Keith has to say today. Love you. Bye-bye.